Welcome back to 1988 as we continue our look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toy line by Playmates. Last time we checked out Splinter and the Turtles' main enemy and the leader of the evil Foot Clan, the Shredder. This time we're taking a look at his number one thug, the mutant rhino Rocksteady, here on Creed's Collection. Hey, and welcome back to another episode of Creed's Collection. My name's Creed, and today we're checking out Rocksteady from the 1988 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toy line by Playmates. Rocksteady is one half of the duo Rocksteady and Bebop, the two bumbling mutant henchmen. He is a military punk mutant rhino who fights alongside Shredder and the evil Foot Clan. His tough rhino hide makes him a formidable foe for the turtles, and he's armed with a retro mutagen rifle, a manhole cover shield, and his turtle carver knife. Rocksteady lacks smarts, but that makes him even more dangerous. However, off duty, he loves frying up a bunch of turtle burgers for the whole hungry Foot Clan. And now that we know a bit more about Rocksteady, let's take a closer look. The first thing I notice about Rocksteady is how good of a face sculpt he has. It's really excellent detail, and I have to say I really like his eyes. They just look excellent. It's great paint. And you'll also notice that his helmet is a turtle shell. I think that's a fun detail. But while Rocksteady shines in a profile, when you turn him straight on, I don't think he looks as good. Rocksteady is suitably ripped, as you can see. He's got a cool bracelet here and a nice sculpt work on his hands. I like the way it looks on the back. They didn't skimp the detail on his chest, although he does have a black tank top instead of yellow. He wears a green military belt, and you can see that he has adorned it with two turtle shells, I'm sure to aggravate the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He also has another spiked bracelet over here. Rocksteady has brown camo stirrup pants that come down over his black boots, and all in all, this is an excellent figure. I really like Rocksteady, but unfortunately, he's doomed to forever be a henchman. The dimensional portal is complete. Now we just have to test it. Rocksteady, Bebop, come here. Uh, hey boss, what's up? What? Where's Bebop? Uh, I think he's playing Sega, boss. What can I do for you? I need you to test this portal here. Go through it now. Oh, gee, boss, is it going to be safe? It doesn't matter, you buffoon. Just get in there. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Whoa. What, where am I? What is this place? Well, you're a strange one, yes. Oh. Hey, who are you? Slide. And you? Well, I'm Rocksteady, henchman extraordinaire. Henchman, huh? I think I could use your services. We don't have a rhino man yet. Uh, the name's Rocksteady. Not anymore, it's not. We've got a jackal man, a vulture man, and now, a rhino man. Uh, y yes sir. Ah, poor Rocksteady. Always a henchman, never a supervillain. Anyway, as we come around to the back side of the figure, you can see there's quite a bit of detail. They've got these cool wart looking protrusions, and then his back has this amazing, like, protruding spine. This is just good stuff. Also, you can see how his belt clasps on and that the copyright date's right here on the bottom. But we'll check that out after we take a look at his articulation. So Rocksteady's hips can bend, but unfortunately mine is really tight and I don't feel like forcing it. So there is movement there, but not much. His shoulders can also go up and around full 360 if you want. Here at the wrists, he has a swivel point, which is actually pretty nice for posing him. And then his head can turn left and right. And that is it. That covers all seven points of articulation for Rocksteady. Now we're going to take a look at Rocksteady's included accessories like his manhole cover shield. It says City Sewer on the front there, and I just think this is a fantastic accessory. If you look on the back here, he does have a nice chunky handle to hold onto, and it does make it easy to pop into his hand. And while I'd rather him wield his gun or knife, I do like this shield quite a bit. Rocksteady's second accessory is his Retro Mutagen Gun. Um, it's a pretty nice looking laser gun. It's got, of course, the barrel that goes down into the sight. 
got the handle down here at the bottom and of course the stock i think i would have preferred him to have a real world weapon but i get why they gave him a made-up laser gun but it doesn't change the fact that it looks really good in his hand and it's another excellent accessory Rocksteady's final accessory is his turtle carving knife, which is basically a bowie knife with a serrated blade. It's got the handle there and the guard. I think this might be my favorite weapon he comes with, and I really wish they would have used this gray plastic for Raphael's size and Leonardo's swords. I think this looks maybe the best in his hand, and of course he can hold it backwards like this, and this is the cool way to hold it. I like this the best. As I mentioned earlier, the copyright information for Rocksteady is located just below the belt on his bottom. 1988 Mirage Studios, Playmates Toys. Before we move forward, here's a quick look at Rocksteady's file card. If you'd like to read it, pause now. And now for our He-Man size comparison. As you can see, while Rocksteady is just a little bit smaller than He-Man, he would fit in perfectly with Masters of the Universe figures. Originally, I was going to have Rocksteady go to Eternia and join Skeletor, but I thought it'd be more fun to visit Slythe on Third Earth. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my toy retrospective for Rocksteady from the 1988 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toy line by Playmates. There really is a sea of amazing henchmen characters to choose from when you go to 1980s toy lines, but in my opinion, Rocksteady really stands out. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up, and if you have any thoughts, please leave a comment. I love reading and responding to them. And while you're at it, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it, it would help my channel grow. I do a retrospective on a toy for my vintage collection every Wednesday, so hope to see you next week and every week after, here on Creed's Collection.